billion trillion million billion trillions of orbiting snowballs orbiting snowballs orbiting a flat fact a flat fact the realm do you know what the realm is a story we agree to tell each other over and over till we forget that it's a lie greetings ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my channel or oh, welcome back did you know that there are at least 30,000 CERN type facilities throughout the world? At least 30,000 particle accelerators underneath our feet. What do you think over 30,000 particle accelerators are doing? This video is part two of This Is Not A Pipe. Part one is about the mass surveillance network that has been in existence before most of us were born. And it's not called the Matrix, it's called PRISM. By Renee I will link to part one in the description Don't box and in the credits at the end of the head. video. Ceci n'est pas une pipe. This is not a pipe. Yeah, but this is a pipe. No, it's a picture of a pipe. Uh. It's a picture of a pipe. Uh. It's a picture of a pipe. Again, at least 30,000 particle accelerators underneath our feet. Let's have a little listen to what George W. Bush said in 1992. New frontiers await. stopped in await. a town called Waxahachie, Texas, which is home to the Superconductor Super Collider Project. The eight and a quarter billion dollar atom smasher is designed to help physicists better understand matter. The Super Collider suffered a blow last month when the House of Representatives voted to cut off its federal funding. After a tour of the site, the President spoke in support of the project. Now, the Super Collider. The Super Collider is one of the greatest scientific projects in the entire world. And today, new frontiers beckon. New discoveries await. New progress lies before us. And our adventure is not to sail the open ocean, is not to sail the open ocean, but rather to go to the edge of the universe and see the birth of space and of time. Our adventure is not to sail the open ocean, but rather go to the edge of the universe in our imaginations and see the birth of space and time. Wow. But rather to go to the edge of the universe and see the birth of space and of time. Our vessel is not called Santa Maria. It is a super collider. Our vessel is not called Santa Maria. It is the super collider. But human imagination is still our compass and human ingenuity and yearning for progress, our only power. And to those who would sacrifice tomorrow for today, I say trust in America's future. Trust in America's incredible capacity for renewal and innovation. And trust in the spirit that is here today. For ours is an eternal voyage to greatness and each and every one of you is a part of that voyage. And human imagination is our compass. Because ours is an eternal voyage. Eternal voyage. What? A never-ending voyage? A never-ending money pit? And each and every one of you is part of that voyage. You know what that means. You and all your generations will be paying for this eternally. When you hear the words particle accelerator, the first thing you probably think of is the Large Hadron Collider. I mean, it is the most powerful atom smashing machine on the planet. It's very famous. It's charged with unpacking the fundamental mysteries of our universe. No big deal. Even though the LHC is the biggest, 
it definitely isn't the only particle accelerator. In fact, you probably live not too far from one. There are over 30,000 particle accelerators all over the world. Doing a variety of jobs that sometimes have nothing to do with particle physics. For example, if you're in Paris, France, admiring the towering glass pyramid at the Louvre Museum, there is a particle accelerator 15 meters below you. Yeah, in the basement, physicists use their particle accelerator called AGLAE for cultural preservation. AGLAE scans priceless museum artifacts, uncovering what they're made of and making sure they're the real deal. Do you want more specifics? Of course you do. These scientists use Aglae to identify the minerals in the eyes of the famous 4,500-year-old Egyptian sculpture called the Seated Scribe. I've seen it. It's awesome. For all three of you art history nerds out there, it is made of black rock crystal, white magnesium carbonate, and iron oxide. Well, now they know what the eyes are made out of in a 4,500-year-old statue. Well, that is worth the billions of dollars and the risk of a particle accelerator having a meltdown or exploding and all the art in the Louvre gone and much of that art has been acquired from all over Earth. But then again, it might just be another surveillance data centre with a cover of science. This is not a pipe. Again, super cool. How about another? Yes, please. No one likes contaminated food, right? Well, you can thank your friendly neighborhood particle accelerator for thank your friendly neighborhood particle accelerator for thank your friendly neighborhood particle accelerator for for zapping any traces of E. coli or salmonella from your groceries. You've likely heard of foods being irradiated. It sounds bad, but scientifically speaking, without radiation, nothing would ever even grow on our planet. And, you know, all light is radiation, but I digress. Bad, but scientifically speaking, without radiation, nothing would ever even grow on our planet. And, you know, all light is... radiation, but I digress. Grocery irradiation works by shooting a stream of high energy particles into the food, thus killing all the bacteria while maintaining the quality of the produce. It's easy. It's sort of like pasteurizing milk or canning food, except scientists are using laser beams plus amazingness. Except scientists are using laser beams plus amazingness. Scientists are using laser beams plus amazingness. Well, that's okay then. The scientists are using laser beams and amazingness. So, don't you be concerned about the over 30,000 friendly neighborhood particle colliders? He said they were friendly. Follow the white balls. You can't see where a radio telescope is pointing when it's hidden inside a white ball. Did you know that there were over 30,000 particle colliders? There is another type also. And Nikki there Hager is, a lot is an of investigative well. journalist from New Zealand. I'll say that for part three. In 1996, he published Secret Power, a wide ranging inquiry into the New Zealand part of the Echelon network. He even managed to enter a listening station. When I have been secretly to the Waihopai station in New Zealand and look through the windows there where the operations room is. I've seen the room where it gets broken down into phone calls here and faxes there and emails there and it's run through these powerful computers which search for all the subjects they're interested in. And actually, there's no people there. The whole system can run itself. And actually, there's no people there. The whole system can run itself. Did you hear of any of them being built? And how long have they been there? Like, who knows? There are a few million radio telescopic devices. The square kilometre arrays built or being built with your tax dollars. These are all looking at space and time. Oh, and don't forget laser beams and amazingness. I've only seen CGI of space. 
So as far as I'm concerned, at this point in time, space has been faked. Are these facilities scientific fronts? Is Big Brother way bigger than any of us could have imagined? Until next time, remember Bill and Ted, let's be excellent to each other.